Hey everybody, what's going on? Love Them Knives here. We have a knife from a new knife company. I'm part of a pass around group on this, so I'm not going to be disassembling this. But this is a production knife from my buddy, Marshall Noble of Noble Knives. And there's his logo on here. But he is, I mean, he's a custom knife maker, obviously, but he is doing a production line. And this is his first knife in the production line series of Legion Steel Knives, okay? This is called the Askir. And so Askir is, uh, what does that mean? It's a Nor or an Old Nordic. It means Spear of God in Old Norse, okay? So it's the Askir, and this is what it is. Kind of a, is that a warny? What is that kind of blade shape? But uh, it looks like it'd be pretty functional, usable for a lot of different tasks. Not overly large, not overly small. Full-size EDC, yeah. Right-hand tip up, looks like. And it looks like the screw comes in from the backside to secure the pocket clip. Looks like there's two of them coming in there. Titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer. You know, frame lock, obviously, but it's got inlays on both sides of shred. Carbon fiber, from what I can tell, okay? And uh, the backspacer is titanium, grade 5. And then it's a T6 uh, stainless hardware. Pocket clip is, uh, is uh, titanium as well. Okay, the pivot collar is stainless steel. We got cage ceramic bearings with uh, stainless steel race washers. Okay, inside. And I'm not going to take this apart, though. I mean, it needs to get passed to the other guys as much as possible unmolested. It's going to have a, sta it has a stainless steel lock insert, ceramic detent ball, um, lanyard uh, attachment right here, back in here. Black PVD coating. Of course, Marshall Noble is the designer. And you can go onto his website and check it out. 335 uh, and you can pay that up front or you can pay a reservation deposit of $150 to secure one with the balance due when they're ready to ship. Estimated shipping January of 2024 and possibly sooner, okay? Let's see what we have here. How big an old boy are you? Hopefully not too big because a lot of people just don't like buying knives that have a blade length over three and a half inches. This is three and 3.3 up here. It's three and a half down here and not quite eight inches, like 7.85 overall length at 20 centimeters, okay? And, uh, but he has specs on here as well. Here's the specs. It's gonna be 20 CV, uh, you know, blade steel, modified sheep's foot. Sheep's foot, yes, of course. How could I be so foolish? Blade length three and a half, three point. So he's measuring, you know, down here, and uh, cutting edge three point three seven five, thickness point one two nine, flat grind, stone wash, flipper tab, which is very muted. Overall length, did I say seven point eight five? So I was off a little bit. Three point seven ounces, and the handle, of course, is titanium. Okay, so, and I'll give you all the information on his website, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, email, all that kind of thing too. So you can go to his website, you can check out his Instagram and Facebook as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, the fit and finish seem pretty nice on this. Shred carbon fiber, titanium, looks like titanium pivot, you know, screws and hardware because they look anodized and the backspacer he says is titanium as well as the pocket clip like i said also you have a pin here for the lanyard and yeah i mean he's got that pocket clip secured nicely but it's not showing any hardware there except on the inside it's got two screws that are 
got it down and it looks like yes it's pocketed so it's weight relieved as well not very heavy but a full-size EDC what do you think this is his uh, first one that he's doing in this production line and yeah I would say my finger was a little slick but yeah I mean I uh, I would say the detent is adequate now you you can do a little stronger detent on a knife when you can't finger flick it or you don't have a front flipper and if if you do then you kind of need to soften the detent to make it easier to do this or whatever right but if this is all you got then you can kind of make it a little a little stronger detent and this one's definitely very snappy but if you look at the uh, flipper tab very muted isn't it almost would extend the jimps over over the top and maybe one or two down here because i find that i am contacting it right here not here i'm contacting it here when i'm kicking it open because it is pretty muted and it's not push button okay so i'm having to kick it right there and do that and so that's pretty uh, pretty good design flow. It's running here, running there. And ooh, yeah, that is good detent. And let's see what we got for blade to handle length looks. All that you could probably do there, right? Okay, we're good. I just wanted to put this out there for, you know, all y'all to consider because there you go. The Asgare, and of course, the Spear of Odin. All goes back to, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of Nordic stuff that comes out, Nordic names that come out for knives. I guess probably because the Vikings were warriors, uh, you know, warriors people. And so there you go, the Mighty Warrior and the Odin thing. And maybe a little bit Nordic look to this in a way. But you got the swedge running down here. And so you'll be able to see the different, you know, the different variants on his website. Check them out. You know, I'm not as much into the black coated blades, but they have non coated as well. So just want to let you know he's there and uh, where all the contacts are. If you're interested in getting in on this brand new brand new knife and I mean on his channel he had a little page that went over you know uh his kind of bio and stuff and let me kind of flip that under but that'll be on his website as well okay Marshall Noble talking about what all he's been through and this and that who he's been involved with and learning the trade and making custom knives and now he's come to this with Legion Steel Okay, so and then kind of uh, our story. There's uh, a whole bunch of additional information down below. Okay, so check it out. Marshall Noble, my buddy. I've known him for about two or three years now, and uh, yeah, I mean we we've solved the world prob the world's problems several times at Shot Show. I think talking about the state of things. So, uh, <clears throat> some political talk there too, but um, he's a heck of a nice guy, great knife maker. Check him out. You know what we do. We love them knives. So, you guys, stay sharp.